direct from Albany, New York, it's time for The Media Zone with your hosts, Ed and Dave. Tonight, a look at this week's new film and DVD releases. And the chance to win free movie tickets with the Poster Pairs game. And now your hosts, Ed and Dave! Hello and welcome to the Media Zone. And Dave here and Dave with you. We're into summer now, Dave. We're after oh. Memorial Day. Whoops, my slate just fell down. As we slate the show, uh, Memorial Day was uh, oh. yesterday or a few days ago, depending no, what did you on your show. Your, uh, Memorial Day. Huh. What do you do on Memorial Day? You I, go out to... Yeah, I just had a bunch of people over, you know, or... passing the cock and bowl. You know? <laughs> uh, yeah, you could do that. You can go up to Lake George. Yep. Uh, look around. Look uh, out. Dr. Morbid's right. haunted house. Isn't is it up the there? Uh, opening, unofficial opening of the summer season? It is, yeah. even though the House of Frankenstein opened up in April, I believe, Ooh. on the weekends. We'll have to make a visit up we there. We need to get up there. Well, did, we were going to do it last year. We never did. We never got up there towards the end of it. We were going to go towards the end, tape something maybe for Halloween. We never got up there. Never did. You haven't been through the House of Frankenstein in a while, have you? Um, not since I was maybe 12. 12? Wow. I don't know. Hmm. Has it been there that long? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Way back early 70s. We'll have to ask mm. when we go. What do we got for films tonight? Aloha. And San Andreas. And Insidious. Insidious Chapter 3. three. I believe we were supposed to see Poltergeist, the remake, this weekend, but they moved it away from this weekend. Who's in the new Poltergeist? Nobody that I can uh, think no, of. Nobody of, uh, of, of substance. No name. All right. They were starting to run uh, trailers, even, on uh, in commercials oh. on TV, and then they stopped. I haven't seen any. Let's right. jump right Let's into jump it. Let's jump in. I'd like to say aloha to all of you folks out there. Yeah. And there's Alec Baldwin and Bradley Cooper, mm -hmm. who are in this film, well, uh, with John Krasinski <laughs> and Rachel McAdams and Bill Murray and Emma Stone. It's a film about a celebrated military contractor who returns to the site of his greatest career triumphs, the U.S. space program in Honolulu, Hawaii, and he reconnects with a long-ago love while unexpectedly falling for the hard-charging Air Force watchdog assigned to him. In play is a complex satellite system being launched by an enigmatic billionaire with suspicious intentions. This film is rated PG-13 for some language including suggestive comments, mm. unlike this show. No, we don't make it. We make no suggestive comments. Yeah, two weeks ago it was mostly suggestive. Oh. But we do have the disclaimer at the beginning. I don't even remember why we do. Because you're a workaholic who creates work to avoid. No, is this a romance? Is this a comedy? Is this a romantic comedy? It's Cameron Crowe, I just saw. Did we mention that? We did not. So, so uh, looks like it might have that. Uh, now, the first person mentioned on your read is John Krasinski, who I have yet to see uh -huh. in any of this huh. trailer. Is he actually in this film? There is greatness in this guy. See, I see a lot of Emma Stone and Bradley Cooper and Rachel like McAdams. Why don't you just have what you want? Yeah. Do you have what you want? But if, if, if that guy, but the I first mean, list, there he is. Okay, he, he showed up. Case. Yeah, he was there. There, oh, he's there again. Oh, there he is again. What was he in before? I don't know was this he the, man. Was he, he in the office? Speak. He said a lot, huh. actually. What did and a few other I'm films he's made. I've been working out, and I'm a little too handsome to ever see you as a threat, Brian. Good evening. Can you settle that? It's actually very Is it Jimmy Kimmel, man? I think that you came back here for a reason. Speaking of Jimmy Kimmel, I'll probably be watching him now since Letterman is gone last week, Dave. Oh, that's right. The end of an era of late night entertainment. But still, I feel... Is very unmatched in the parking lot. Yeah. Still the greatest of all time. There's some funny bits on uh, when Letterman was early on doing all his happens. wacky stunts and things, and then he kind of tapered off later on. With a great sense of humor. As many stunts, but. Uh, if you're not this is what happens when you have a 12-minute clip. Still better. We start talking about <laughs> Letterman. It's better 
Still better than Jimmy Fallon, who apparently brings on stars and then plays uh, Scrabble with them or games and things. This is an innovation. Not a Fallon person. No, he's a likable guy, but a kind of not a great interviewer and kind of laughs at all. Oh, the worst all. interviewer of all is, is Conan. He's awful. Is he awful? He's awful. He has huh. no segues. He doesn't know how to have a conversation. Huh. His interviewing is awful. Hmm. If there's a word that is worse than awful, I'd like you to send it to me and I will use it. Hmm. He's far worse than awful. He's so bad, awful is too good for him. He's awful. I think he just does a lot of bits and uh, you know faces at the camera and things. During yeah, he's not funny. No. No, he's awful. Did I say he's awful? He did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you see, he does some funny bits sometimes. No. No, he doesn't. I can't, well, he might because I don't even watch. You don't get I've that I've seen him a few in. times. I can't get through the, the his monologue, which is pretty just horrid. And, you know, there's only, there's only so much man rubbing nipples that I want to see. Oh, oh. Which he does all the time. Is that a staple? He's just, he's terrible. I think I like the, the dog on there is what I like. The Triumph. He's, does, there's a show, I think. Jack and Triumph show, uh -huh. which I've seen yeah. a couple episodes of, which is kind of funny. Mm -hmm. uh, may have to, I, I think it's on Midnight on Fridays or something. <laughs> on one of these Comedy Central, Adult Swim, I don't know, one of those channels. But anyway, yeah, let's move on to our next film. San Andreas. Oh, this has an uh, earthquake written all over it. Carla, we're, it's earthquake without being called earthquake. Oh. Carla Gugino, mm. Kylie Minogue, he's a singer from the 80s, oh, there's Carla. and Dwayne Johnson, or The Rock. The Rock. After the infamous San Andreas Fault finally gives, triggering a magnitude 9 earthquake in California, a search and rescue helicopter pilot and his estranged wife make their way together from Los Angeles to San Francisco to save their only daughter. But their treacherous journey north is only the beginning. And when they think the worst may be over, it's just getting started. Rated PG-13 for intense disaster action. Ooh. And mayhem throughout and brief strong language. I wonder why Al Pacino is not in this. Because he so often is just getting started. And it's going to be a bigger monster. I saw who's he what's it's in there. <laughs> what? Who's he watches? Who is it? Big Bombin from Howard Stern. I forget his actual name. He's a Paul fine... Giamatti. Paul Giamatti. Well, he's a fine actor. And you will feel it. Well, we've got uh, better effects, slightly better, because this is New Line. Then, uh... <laughs> this, um... What was the film, was it, with John Cusack not too long ago? Oh, 2012. 2012. Which is similar. Except then they go off into space and that. Uh, you know, I, I couldn't get through it. Couldn't get through that one. I like my uh, earthquake films with Chuck Heston. With Charlton Heston and Ava Gardner <laughs> and Jean Viet Bougeold. So we could have done without. And Marjo Gartner. Oh, no. And Victoria Principal. With the tight yellow t shirt that said Miles stretched across. To giant bosom <laughs> <laughs> and an uncredited cameo <laughs> next year this is happening remember uh, Walter Matho was uncredited yes. and that sitting at the bar licking his lips at the Victoria Principal <laughs> t-shirt as it was revealed <laughs> and he was uh, actually he was credited but it was, was credited with oh, like a wacky last name like Walter Matho right? Chaka Mayanansky yeah. mm -hmm. very long name but yes and he survived he did, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But poor uh, Chuck Heston had to go down into the sewer to save his estranged wife, Ava Gardner, while his young lover stared down at him, going, Don't go. He's mm -hmm. looking up. He's looking down. What should I do? <laughs> Old broad, young chick. Old broad, <laughs> young chick. I'm going for the old broad. And then they never come back up. Ah. Oh. Oh. And George Kennedy. George Kennedy. Also, he also has Joe. Still around at age 88. He is, yes. He is, yeah. Is he still act? Is he show up in anything? Is he, is he going the um, Ernest Borgnine route and going to just show up in movies till he's 95? 
I saw him at a Tiller show about six years ago, maybe. Mm -hmm. I got uh, his autograph and uh, Leslie Nielsen on a Naked Gun picture, and unfortunately, Leslie's no longer right. with us, increasing the value of Is my it? picture. <laughs> <laughs> As you so often say, oh, I wish I knew he was going to die, right. I would have gotten his autograph. I'm sorry, uh, Ernest Borgnine, in the dimension, there was down at the Tiller Show twice. I didn't make it down those two years. Never will see him again. No. Insidious. And Margaret at uh, the Tiller Show from a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Uh, counting down the days. To <laughs> <laughs> Her picture is worth more than they. Oh boy! For some reason, they show up at this chiller show right at the end. <laughs> it's all that's left for them. That's it. Okay, what do you got then? Insidious, Chapter Ooh. Three, starring Dermot Mulroney, Stephanie Scott, and Angus Sampson. This is a prequel set before the haunting of the Lambert family that reveals how gifted psychic Elise Rainier reluctantly agrees to use her ability to contact the dead in order to help a teenage girl who has been targeted by a dangerous supernatural entity. Ready PG-13 for violence, frightening images, some language, and thematic elements. This is from Bloomhouse, Dave, who brought you those other horror films who can't remember which is which. Mm -hmm. Right, because they're all the same. Like Sinister, I can't remember if I saw Sinister or one of these, two of these. I have the Babadook. I haven't watched that yet. Is the water what? The, the Babadook. Did anybody see that one? What? The, what is that? That's a highly acclaimed horror film. Did we do it on we, the show? We didn't do it on the show. It was like direct to. Well, I mean, it might have been the we did the DVD release because it was direct to DVD. If you see that in your red box, try it out. Okay. Uh, unless I see it first and tell you not to. But okay. I do have it ready to go at home. Ready to go? It's, in the, it's ready to be played? It's ready to be played. It's in, it's in the player? It's not quite oh. in the player, but it's on the table. Right on the table, go. near the player. Near the player. I just think you've seen one of these, you've seen them all. Pretty much. And there's still <laughs> nowhere near the video yet. What? Uh -huh. I think uh, the director of The Exorcist said the. Uh, the Babadook will scare you, the piss out of you oh. or something. Or is that what, uh, <laughs> what, what um, oh my God, Stephen King would say, uh -huh. I'm going to scare the hell out uh -huh. of you. And then a, a truck comes at you with a, with a clown face on the front of it. Was that the one he was going to scare I think it was. <laughs> Maximum overdrive? Yes. Oh, there's more creatures in the throats. We've seen that a few times. Yeah. Hmm. Insidious. There you have it, Insidious 3. Chapter 3. Chapter 3. And Which that's is it. really Chapter 1, because it goes back. Right. To the, the prequel. Movie. Yeah. It's like those Hobbit films. Mm. Those came out last, later than the... Right. Uh, did you see a couple of weekends ago they were releasing trailers left and right? Did you see the new Star Wars trailer, Dave? Oh, no. No. Batman versus Superman? No. You saw that one? No. What was the other? There was one other one. They were knocking them off left and right. Superhero ones? Uh, oh, was it? Ant? Was it? Mm. Yeah, there was a new Avenger. I thought there was another one. They were coming out all weekend. But uh, there you go. More films coming out. Oh, I saw a picture of the new Joker, which is the Jared Leto. It looks god-awful from the Suicide Squad. It's like an updated villain comic and just looks ho horrible i like my uh, jokers to have mustaches like beneath, cesar romero beneath the paint <laughs> <laughs> all right we've got some dvd releases and we got a few more pops and we'll clean out the pop collection all right out on video maybe there's That's some weak. good ones you can get from your red box dave is video even correct should it say out on dvd uh well i put video just for all the different formats oh. now. Downloads and... Oh, the and nanny. I don't know how this lasted more than one episode because <laughs> her laugh and her voice <laughs> is like, you know, that's the free Sofia Vergara. I was just going to say, who do you prefer? Who is less annoying, the oh. nanny or Sofia Vergara? That's difficult, but I'll have to go with I would go with Sofia. Well, at least Sofia had more bosom. It looks like the nanny's got a little more behinds. So it depends on your preference. 
This is just bad. Awful. <laughs> I mean, they took a guy from, uh, from some uh, soap opera, I think his name was Charles Shaughnessy, and then he did this series, and then he's vanished. I think. I haven't seen him anywhere else unless he went back to a soap. There's not many of those left. No. It's a 19 disc set, Ed. Wow. 19! This isn't a CBS one, though. So maybe it's displayed a little better. <laughs> oh, look at that. Food of the Gods. Good old 70s drive in fair. Frogs. I like frogs. Do you remember frogs? No, I didn't see frogs. You should see, it's got a nice, creepy soundtrack. And then the Food of the Gods has got some of those great low-budget effects where we go from the puppet of the giant rat mm -hmm. to an actual rat kind of with that bad superimposing mm -hmm. going right. on. But it was entertaining, I remember. Look where the rat's paw is. Oh, look oh. at that. He's tearing the flesh oh. in a little picture. Nowhere near anything like this was seen in the film. <laughs> or the frog with the hand coming out. And part of the ants, I've mm -hmm. seen that. Now, I think there was a last-minute switcheroo because the Jaws of Satan was tossed in because they couldn't get... I forget what it was now, but they couldn't get the rights to it at the last minute. It fit in better with the Empire of the Ants, which was another one where they had the real ants <laughs> kind of in the corner superimposed like they do at Land of the Giants. They put... The <laughs> you want to see a good ant film? Go see them. Get that. Oh, yes. Them. Shoot the antennae! Shoot the antennae! <laughs> Did they use real ants for that? It was just no. the big puppets, yeah, right? Yeah. Yellowbeard. Did you ever see this? I've this? seen this awful movie. Isn't, is this a Monty Python film? Or I don't semi? think it's a Monty Python film, but I think a couple of them were in it. I believe Graham Chapman is Yellowbeard. Mm -hmm. I don't know if another one of the Pythons were in this film. Was Marty Feldman in this one? Marty may have been in this. I haven't, I've seen it once, mm -hmm. and it was back... I don't know, when did this come out? 80? 80s, I think. Um, so 80s. I only saw it once. And it was just not good. Not worth seeing. Not again. worthy of seeing? No. Mm. Sure is cold down here. <laughs> A little chilly for you? A little chilly. Winter will not lose its vice grip. Has it by now, Ed? Has it? Uh, May? No, it's still chilly. It's still chilly? I remember June. Oh, so, oh, so. That's okay. The producer has the world ending next year anyway. He did. I will go to some pops now. Speaking of winter, we, we had a, a bronchitis outbreak at work. Of course, nobody covers their mouth. There's sounds I've never heard come out of human beings in, in his office, but the coughing and the sneezing. And then uh, we decide we're going to have the safety and health meeting. Oh, so let's gather everybody that's got the bronchitis in one area <laughs> and then tell them to come a little closer so they can hear the person in front. It's no wonder everybody's got bronchitis They're all in there. foaming at the mouth, next thing you know. So this is Michonne from The Walking Dead, Dave. Mm -hmm. And her two pets were the zombies where she <laughs> cuts off the arms. And it's displayed here on the little pop figure. <laughs> The arms are cut off and the jaws are ripped off. And she carried those around to protect herself from the zombies. And there it's graphically displayed for your pleasure, yeah. Are they rubber? They're hard plastic. Okay. This is the RV walker. Oh, that's a little disturbing. <laughs> also, the one they made the head of for the Blu-ray season was the head <laughs> with the screwdriver in the eye. and you. You opened up your DVD case with, by turning the <laughs> screwdriver. And we saw this one before. That's the uh, bicycle girl from the first episode. And they do have regular figures <laughs> from The Walking Dead. They got good old Herschel. Of course, it was after he was bitten by the zombie and his leg is off. <laughs> but they do have Herschel there. And we got one more Walking Dead. This is one of, one of my favorite zombies still. The well walker. There he is. And you remember what happened to him when they pulled him out of the well, producer? <laughs> well, let's depict that. <laughs> <laughs> why, why not? <laughs> we got the classic uh, monsters. There's Freddy. And let's see if you know what this is from, Dave. We might have I can't to, even see we it. We might have to move our other ones around. 
Um, you know what that's from? We might need the other. I don't have the other guy that goes with that. <laughs> no. I was going to say, is this, is this from a Japanese film? <laughs> no. I don't know. I'll, I'll say it's Uma Thurman. Does that, you know where it's Pulp from? Pulp Fiction? Pulp Fiction, yeah. A movie I've still never seen. Never saw that. Nope. You'll know who this one is now. You Maybe not a few weeks ago. Groot. Bobblehead. You know which Groot this is. You stay through the credits, right? <laughs> um, yeah, of course I did. That was, that was Baby Groot, who was dancing to uh, Michael Jackson at the end. I think they squeezed that in right at the end. They didn't put it in the credits. And we got two more. Two more. Let's see if you know who these are. Uh, oops. Uh, Jay and Bob? <laughs> That's Jay and Silent Bob. With the cigarette. We don't care about the kids. Right. But the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a cigarette. We're going to put it on there. So just about any figure or anything you would like, except you, Dave. What? Well, I would. Uh, you might like an alien or something, right? There was. There is no Alice Cooper or monkeys yet. Monkeys. <laughs> they didn't do the monkeys. They're what starting are, to die off anyway. Oh, the Beatles. But they do have wrestlers. They have uh, Hulk Hogan and the Undertaker. And you got all your wrestlers, and they have football people for those of you that enjoy football. So I don't know how long they cover just about everybody I can think of. So I don't know how long this phenomena is going to go on. I just read, I saw there was a book out in uh, Barnes and Noble about the Beanie Baby fad and oh, how this yes. guy created this whole, you know, hysteria by shipping <laughs> these things a little at a time. And we remember, uh, you know, people waiting in line, even me, for a little bit. Oh. And you'd throw, well, I was throwing those on eBay left and right. You'd buy them for whatever they were, $6. You'd turn around, you throw them on eBay, and you, they were going for like 40 and 50 depending on what they were. Because, you know, peop, some people don't have all day. You price gouger. <laughs> Taking advantage of people. Of course, I still have a bag of them that aren't worth a, a dime. <laughs> 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 sitting in my room there because I waited too long before the crash. Oh, of the, the Beanie, Beanie Baby, Baby crash. crash, yes. So let's see. Oh, I think I covered everything uh, on my sheet here. I did write to Nibbles. Remember your yes. favorite donut place, and we didn't hear back as of this taping. But uh, make sure when we show our address later on, and you're not on our email list, you'll want to join that because coming up soon, if we get the okay, we're going to go down to Nibbles and taste some donuts. Oh. Down there in that bacon, what was it? Bacon? Maple bacon donut. Maple bacon donut. All kinds of goodies, and looks like they're expanding into lunch with some kind of wraps and things. How are they now? Oh, okay. Now, I you can stop this if you want, Dave, but okay. I did put it on. Oh. Since uh, Letterman is doing this, <laughs> showing his old clips, you know, as he goes out, I thought we'd go into our uh, archives. archives. Now, this has got to be 1981, and you said you don't want yourself shown, because we can stop it if you don't want yourself you know, I, shown. I don't even want myself shown now. You don't want yourself shown <laughs> Well, I, I, we don't look the same as we did then, but we're kids then, Dave. We were 18 or remember so. this. You don't remember this? Let me set it up before you show it. Uh, this, we were doing tonight shows. Mm -hmm. for, I don't know why, even. I don't know why, either. You guys were doing them <laughs> at, before. And at, at least this is on TV. People are seeing this of, <laughs> in some variety. And this, we were doing it in our basement. We would do a Tonight Show. In his would, basement. In his basement. I would do. I would be Johnny Carson. Right. And we'd have kids and people <laughs> and you. Neighbors. <laughs> neighbors. Yeah. I we'd think you just called me up one day and I came down. You came down. And later on, we started to do some of our first bits. Uh-huh. And we were so bad, Ben, that we didn't bother to learn lines. <laughs> we had the scripts right in front of us <laughs> with very few lines that we couldn't even remember. Now, if you want it stopped before we see you, but we, we, I'm <laughs> on it here for a while before we get to you. All right. So here uh, is me from 1981 oh. or so being uh, Steve Douglas. Oh. <laughs> 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 I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> we'll speak over this. Let's see, there's no need to hear anything. We were just And that's how we did. I was behind the door going do 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 do. Hey buddy, drop tip. Oh, 
right. I know there's people with a lot of video out, but at the time there wasn't a lot of video. We're probably only people that have our entire lives <laughs> scripted out on video here. And there's my pipe as Steve Douglas. I'm <laughs> probably 18 here. And why do you keep looking oh, no, at the camera? No. Oh, jeez. Who's that? I don't know. That's another actor we performed with at the time. This was 81, so we'll, somebody do the math for able to. Years ago. <laughs> it's amazing that we still have these, though. That is awful. <laughs> My brother pops up in a minute as Ernie. <laughs> We're reading the script. The scripts are right there. We didn't bother. Uh, let's go to the game. Let's let it run. Let's get my brother on as long as we I think he's coming in now. Come on. Come on, Ernie. <laughs> is that a Dixie cup on a straw or something? A Dixie cup on a pencil. Pencil. <laughs> we didn't have any props. I want to know who's doing the camera work. That was, that was, <laughs> get that off. That's horrible. So, All right, it's the poster pairs game. We'll have some more of those old clips coming up. No, we won't. <laughs> Next. Well, when, when we were doing some actual fine work, this, was, this wasn't some of our best work, Dave. Okay. Post a pairs game where you have sent in two numbers oh. from one to six, and we pick your name, reveal what's behind the two numbers that you gave us, and if they match, you win two free movie tickets. If you're right, spin the wheel. We spin the wheel. You can win up to ten. There you go. Okay. No, Good no. to look back. No, it isn't. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll do limited if you don't want to appear too often on these. Things. I'll do some of uh, my uh, tonight shows. Maybe uh, <laughs> the match game. <laughs> God. I think we were actually filthier on the match game than we are now it's as just, adult men, Dave. It's just, just, you know, look back, I'm just not an attractive person back then. It's awful. All right, it's Pamela Barra Harder again with two wow. and four again. And she doesn't spin again. She's right? not spinning. Oh. Two weeks in a row we picked Pamela. Mm. Come on, Pamela. Oh, I think she can win. You think so, because it's not. Right, it's not Kolshak. Kolshak this time. This is it. The winner. Number four, yep. Oh. oh. I did have the winner a uh, few weeks ago, and we did spin the wheel, <laughs> but they did lose a they ticket. They lost the ticket. So maybe she doesn't want to take the chance when she wins to lose the ticket, but you could get the 10 That's also. Right. So there you go. It's the Post Pairs game where you send in two numbers. Wow. Just send them by email to MediaZone95 yep. at gmail.com. MediaZone95 at gmail.com. And is there going to be an ape showing up any minute? And don't forget, if you haven't joined our email list yet, we send out the weekly email to remind you the show is on. And also there are, you know, things if things are going on, like if we're going to be appearing at the Nibbles, that weekend, you want to stop by and have a donut. Oh, you know what? Even if we're not appearing there, you want to stop by and have a donut. Yeah. Oh, in Troy. Or there's police. Um, <laughs> anyway, if you win and you want to spin the wheel, you have one chance to win 10 tickets, two chances to bring it up to six, two chances for four, six chances to keep the two, and five chances to lose one ticket, and two chances to lose them both. But that's all you do. Just send in two numbers from one to six. And if we pick your name and select, uh, reveal those Ooh. two, uh, you got it. You know what? You gotta, I didn't know it was going to come back to me right you there. Gotta go to, you got to go to bed earlier. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's yeah, post press game, blah, 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 win tickets. And, yeah. Wow. I can't believe how fast uh, four weeks of show. I do not want me shown ever again. On you don't want to The old ones. That's what about if you're more like you are now? <laughs> no, because even this isn't good. <laughs> When were you good? I don't think so. I thought I was good. You thought you were good when, man? Yeah, yeah. And then I look and I'm not good. <laughs> when were you good? Good night, everybody. We'll come back with some good ones next time. <laughs>